Hello, this is Reza from Radicat, and in this video, I'm going to talk about a function index which you can use for grouping, for aggregation. The function is grouped by how you can use it. Let's see how it works. Let's start this with looking at what is our sample data. You can download the sample data um, uh, from the link to my blog post down in the description below. Um, my sample data set has a customer table and a fact internet sales table. Mostly I will be using customer table, dim customer, which has one record per customer. Now let's say I want to do some grouping. Sometimes you do this grouping in Power Query, sometimes you do that in data source. Sometimes you need to do that in DAX, especially if you are using it to create virtual tables in, uh, in a DAX measure and make it dynamic calculation. Now, um, first to look at how the group by function works, this is a very simple example of a group by function. Group by function uh, here used as a new table. Uh, it gets a table as input. This table can be one of your existing tables, one of your dataset tables, or it can be a table expression, which means a function that returns a table. Uh, then you specify your group column, group by columns. Uh, you might have one or two. Uh, here, for example, I have only English education as a group by column. Then you might want some aggregation column as a result or some uh, extra columns. You specify the name of each columns and the expression for that. Right? Uh, here I used group by just uh, for grouping, no extra columns. So I specified customer table, dim customer as the first input. So from dim customer, group it by English education. Very simple group by a statement. This will produce an output like this, which is uh, basically a unique list of English educations. You can achieve the same thing with distinct, with values. Those functions would give you exactly the same, right? Uh, so you don't use usually group by just to produce a list of unique values because there are other functions uh, simpler to do that. Uh, what you use group by for usually is when you add extra column to this. For example, let's say you want to say for each English education category, you want to add, have a column here that gives you count of customers in each group. Uh, now, um, you can add a name of a column and expression like that here. Now I have an example of that expression. So here is an expression that I used, uh, which says from them customer, again, uh, use English education for grouping, create a new column, you specify the name of that column, row count, let's say. And then I use a calculate function here that calculates count of uh, uh, customer keys there, right? But you see that this will uh, give me an error saying that I cannot use this type of expression. I should be using a function called current group. And calculate also is not a function that is allowed inside group by as an expression. Um, so how the current group works? Current group is a function that usually you use with the group by right? Uh, not without it. With the group by, you use current group. Now, current group is a function that gives you a subset of that original table grouped by a specific field that you say. For example, if I go back to uh, the very first table you have seen, so if I use current group here in this example, means that current group for uh, bachelor, that would be uh, the subtable of the dim customer with bachelors only uh, for high school subtable for uh, English education for high school only. Uh, just to show you how it looks like, I have created like a like a let's say view for that in Power Query, but this has nothing to do with Power Query, of course. I'm just using Power Query to show you uh, sorry to show you what it looks like. Uh, so here is what it looks like if we have something like current group and if you can see it with your eye, it would look like this. You know, for example, you see in high school, the current group would be a table 
and that table would have all columns from your normal dim customer table uh, which is filtered only for uh, high school if i'm looking at graduate degree that would be a table with all columns of the um of the dim customer only filtered for graduate degree uh, that is how current group would look like but um don't worry about this power query editor i just used it to show you how it looks like because there is no way to view that table here in dax right so uh, if you have uh, that concept then you can write your expression like this so here i used again group by for customer table uh, and uh, Education is my um, group by field. Uh, I create a new column called row count. And then inside count X, I use current group. So count X is saying that give me the count of this value in this table. And current group is a sub table for each of these categories. So as a result, I would have row count, which is let's say the count of customers in each English education group. That is how you use row count. Usually they come with uh, one of these iterator functions, average x, mean x, max x, count x, sum x. You can use any of these. Now, um, with the group by, this table can be also a um, table expression. So here I have another example. Uh, let's say I want each group and sum of sales in each group, but sales is not in uh, in the education in the customer table sales is in uh, fact internet sales table and I have a measure that gives me sum of sales amount right now I used uh, this inside an expression like this so inside group by I first added a column to customer table and I said that at this column call it revenue and the value of that comes from the sales measure and then group it by education column of that table so this whole thing considered as a table as i said it shouldn't be like a real table always it can be also um, any um, table expression uh, and then create a new revenue column which is some x of the revenue column of that table right so you can combine it together like this uh, restrictions for group by um, so using current group whenever you use aggregation and calculate cannot be used here um, current group can be used only in the uh, highest level of aggregation here you cannot combine it with another table then bring current group as a second level um, and uh, one main usage of group by or any other uh, DAX aggregation functions or grouping functions is that you can use them to create a virtual table um, so you don't usually go and use a new table and use group by in that you can do that but mainly you use this inside a measure to create a virtual table that the result of that might change depends on your filter context so here you go this is group by uh, and current group usage to create aggregation in Power BI using DAX. You can download this file from the link down in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI.